Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. I am so glad to have you here. So today I thought that we would go through some planty updates together. A couple weeks ago we took a whole bunch of propagations in my spring prep propagation video. Um, so I wanted to check in on those, see how they're doing, and kind of show you the progress that I'm getting with the roots. I also just wanted to do kind of a general update on some of my plants, check out some new leaves, and just kind of chit chat about how everyone is doing. Okay, so let's start off with the propagations. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the string of hearts. I actually just got back from a weekend away, so all of my propagations are probably going need to need to be topped up on water. I did top them all up the day that I left, but I find that they go through water kind of quickly, especially when they're just in the smaller vials like these. But regardless, my string of hearts are all doing amazing. Can you see those roots? Like, look at those bad boys. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Honestly, water propagating is definitely my favorite for String of Hearts. Um, I find that they root up really quickly. Like look at all of the roots that we're getting. They are very, very happy. Here's my favorite strand right there doing really well, which I'm happy about. The leaves are just perfect on that one. These can honestly probably be potted up pretty quickly. I could even get away with potting them up right now. So I'll probably do it, be doing that shortly and you will see it in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, it's only been a couple of weeks and they are doing phenomenal. And then jumping over here to my Marble Queen Pothos. Uh, it's doing okay. Like we do have some root development happening in there as you can see, but we do have a yellow leaf. I'm not too sure what the cause of that is. Um, but that's okay, I guess. You just do you. If you need to yellow that leaf, then that's fine. If you guys were watching that video, then you would have seen that I had this potted upside down, like the wrong end of the vine in the pot. Um, and last time I did that and then I took it out and tried to propagate, I lost the cutting. So, uh, the fact that these two leaves are doing okay makes me happy. But yeah, <laughs> we'll just have to let that root for probably a few more weeks. I did just want to give a quick update on my Philodendron Silver Sword cuttings. I propagated these, it was not very long ago, probably a week ago, I'm gonna guess. So they aren't really do any, doing anything yet, but I did just want to remove the lid, kind of give them some fresh air and take a peek. Um, yeah, none of them are rotting, so that's a good sign, but I don't really see like anything happening root wise or anything like that which is fine like it is pretty early i don't know why i'm a little nervous like about how small these containers are i guess just because i'm used to propagating in something like this but i'm assuming it will be fine right right you guys i hope so anyways they seem to be fine but nothing yet okay this one is kind of random um i never I didn't film this one when I chopped it up, but this was my Philodendron Gloriosum. I kind of had to do an emergency chop because it was covered in thrips. Um, this was my big one that I had, unfortunately, which is reduced to these small cuttings. Uh, and these three look <laughs> kind of unwell. This one also looks kind of unwell, but it is rooting, you guys. It has roots on both sides. And I had not opened up this container in... I don't know, a long time, like six to eight weeks. So I'm happy to see that one of these is actually rooting and will maybe make it. Um, I have never propagated Philodendron Gloriosum before, so I really had no idea what I was doing. I just kind of did the same thing I usually do, um, take node cuttings, but I hadn't propagated a crawler before. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. So I just wanted to show you. And then I just wanted to take a peek inside our perlite box here. Oh, look at this. Our Hoya um, obovada is starting to get some little roots. Oh, that's so cute. That makes me very, very happy. I love that Hoya. Okay, that's fantastic. I do have some more cuttings in a different box that we'll check on after. Um, I have a lot of different plants. I have tons of this Syngonium erythrophyllum now because I cut up a whole vine in September. Oh yeah, the string of hearts. Oh, this looks unwell. What is going on here? Look at that. Look at that moldy guy. 
It's just a heart that fell off, a leaf. Okay, well, we're going to take him out. And I'm just curious if anything is happening with these string of hearts. I don't see any roots yet. Do not really see anything yet, but I will keep monitoring. I have so many little sticks in here that I just have no idea what they even are. Like, what are you? I guess I'll, it'll be a surprise when they put leaves out. More little baby Syngonium back there, so cute. I wonder how this Standaliana is doing. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. <gasps> How is the root that long? <laughs> That's insane. It's like not even in the perlite. Well, it is down there. Oh my God, I wonder how long it stretches. I don't want to pull it out, but. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to be potting that one up soon, you guys. It's like tight when I try to pull it out. Like he's rooted right down into there. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, and then we have my silver sword. Like I said, it's only been like a week, so I'm not expecting anything. I have not been checking. Obviously, I've been away. Okay, I don't really see any root growth yet, but the plant looks okay, so we'll just keep waiting. Watching and waiting. Okay, you guys, so here is the other Hoya Obovada prop box. Ooh, it is like moist in here, maybe too moist. Well, no, it seems happy. Oh yeah, we've got roots. We have got multiple roots on there. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay, that is amazing. So doing really well in the sphagnum. And same with this one. We definitely, definitely have roots. So that is great. Is there only two in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and now we are in my other prop box. Look at how good this one looks, you guys. Look at all of the leaves. Oh my goodness, my baby squamiferums that have been coming up. That is so cute. I forgot that I put some squammy wet sticks in here. It's even giving me a second leaf. A lot of these need to be potted up soon. Look at this. I think that this is Philodendron Marks variegata. The leaves look really juvenile though. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know what else it would be though. I'm pretty sure I put a big chunk of it in there. Look at that half moon, like that's crazy. Oh my goodness, everybody is so cute. Oh, my dark lord. Oh my goodness, do you have any roots yet? Is that a root? That looks like a leaf. I've been having a hard time rooting this wet stick. This is from Charmaine on Plant Parenthood and I really want it to make it. It's given me leaves, but no roots. Come on, little buddy. And then this is another one that she gave me. And, oh, come on. No roots yet either. There might be where that chunk of perlite is. Nope, I, <laughs> I knocked it off and there's not. Darn, but this one's giving me a leaf as well. Oh, this is Philodendron Majestic. I didn't say that. And this is a wishlist plant for me. And she was so nice to send it. So I'm really, really, really hoping that I can get those to root up. Darn. Stubborn little guys. I mean, I guess it's a good sign that they are giving me leaves um, and they're not rotting. It would just be, you know, I'd feel a little bit better if they gave me some roots, but that's fine. My other baby squammy, so, so cute. My, um, did I even tell you guys about this? I can't remember. My Scindapsis, uh Silver Hero. I ended up having to chop it up because it completely rotted on me and it would not root up in the cup of perlite in my cabinet. I have no idea why, so I decided to transfer it to here and I'm finally getting roots. So I'm very, very happy about that. I have another cutting of it over here. The new leaf finally opened in here. So I'm really happy that that is doing well. And then I think that that's a baby Milano Chrysum. Same with that, same with that. Yeah, lots of fun stuff in this one. Uh, I can't remember what this is. Maybe, maybe baby varicosum. And of course my Splendid, which I was going to pot up the other day, but I have not stocked up on my potting supplies yet, so I couldn't. I'm gonna be doing that this week. Um, very, very nice roots going on in there. So I can't wait to get that done this week. 
Oh, and also, you guys, this is not a propagation update, but I did finally move my Hoya Linearis out from my cabinet. So it's in my bedroom now. Um, this is not its permanent spot. I would like to put it on the bed frame, but this is just where it is sitting for now. And it seems to be doing really well. It's still giving me a lot of cute baby growth and it seems happy. So I'm very, very happy that, um, that it's been doing okay with the transition. Wow, I just noticed how big the new leaf on my Hoya Crimson Princess came in. I remember showing it in my Hoya uh, collection video and it's not variegated, but I still, I still appreciate it, you know? This vine needs to give me a variegated leaf here. I cannot wait until it starts growing. Okay, don't mind my incense burning here, um, but I did want to show you my Silver Glory String of Hearts and the uh, String of Spades and String of Needles are all in here and they are all rooting up beautifully. It's just so satisfying to see when you propagate in water. I love seeing the roots and then my trailing jade behind it doing amazing all of my trailing jade propagations are doing really well um here is my uh one that is in soil and it's actually doing okay you guys i thought that it maybe wasn't going to make it because it was so dehydrated but uh it's making it like several vines in here are doing amazing i did have to remove some dead leaves down here and i don't even know if these leaf propagations are rooting I think that's just like a dried oh wait those are roots coming in oh it's not even focused let me move it over here there are roots coming in do you see that oh my goodness that is so cool okay I'm gonna put it back in the soil then that is amazing wow this plant has been so easy to propagate I am very very impressed with that very cool. Okay, and then we have my subhastatum over here. Wow. Definitely getting definitely getting some roots in on that guy. Looks great. Need to top that off with water, but doing really well. Oh yeah, this is also um, kind of cool. So do you guys remember my bold string of hearts? And I was like, oh, I'll just leave it on the windowsill and see how it does. Well, it started off putting some new baby growth out for me. I couldn't even believe it when I picked this up and saw it. So I just gave it a water before I left for the weekend, but it's doing amazing. It's just so, nature is so resilient. Like I'm honestly just mesmerized when something like this happens. Like it's just so cool when growth comes from basically nothing. I love that so much. It's just, I don't know. It's just like so inspiring to witness, you know? Again, my trailing jade. Water propagation, got lots of roots in there. Okay, so I'm gonna take a look at my Florida Beauty cuttings. I have not checked yet, so really hoping that there will maybe be something happening in here. Oh, there is! Okay, just a sec. Look at that root. Oh my goodness, that was the one that was already there, but it's like twice as long now, so that's really promising to see. That root has a bunch of sphagnum that wouldn't come off. Hopefully that's fine, I don't know. Oh yeah, and this one here, I don't see anything yet, but we have one that looks really good. So I'm very thankful for that. As long as like one makes it. I know more than that will make it, but you know. And then all of the wet sticks are beside that, which, uh-oh, they look kind of unwell. Let's take a look. Oh, they look kind of yellow, or maybe that's just their color. It feels firm still. Oh, look at the roots in there, you guys. Oh my gosh. These had no roots when I left. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, so obviously this one has no roots and I'm not sure about that other one that looks kind of yellow, but this one and this one have both put out massive roots. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. What about this baby one? No, nothing yet. I want to dig out that other one so I can see. I'm so bad at like messing with my wet sticks. I'm always pulling them up and looking. Okay, nothing on those. But we have two that are doing really well in here. So, okay, so I'm pretty sure that's all of my 
well, most of my propagation updates. Uh, so now I'm just gonna show you some exciting things that are going on. So this is my newest um, Adansoni eye leaf and look at that. I'm shocked that it's not browning yet. Um, it's very white, too white, honestly, uh, but that's fine. It's still super beautiful. And I'm just gonna cross my fingers that the next leaf has more green on it, but just, oh, how stunning is that? It looks incredible. And then this I am extremely excited about, another new leaf coming in on my Anthurium vitrifolium, if it will focus here for you. Okay, there we go. So that is a new leaf that has just started developing um, right after this one. This is the last leaf that came out. And this is definitely the nicest, or not the nicest, well, probably the nicest. Um, the biggest leaf that it has given me so far, uh, the longest, this is the second, the second biggest it's given me so far. It's just so beautiful. I love this plant so much. Oh man, when this is mature, you guys, like, I will be one happy lady. And I'm also just seeing in here right now that my Gloriosum is pushing out a new leaf, which is so good to see. This plant just didn't really do much for me over the winter. And then it got these spots, which I don't like. I know that can be a sign of pests, so it has been treated. Um, yeah, I kind of struggle with Gloriosum, you guys, I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people have a really easy go with them, but what is on there? Mm, nothing. Um, but yeah, I I just kind of struggle with them, but that's fine. Also, um, Painted Lady working on another new leaf. It's almost fully emerged. This plant is so crazy. I'm definitely going to be taking it out of this cabinet after that new leaf because it's extremely close to the grow light now, and that's a very powerful grow light. Um, yeah, it's so cool. The new leaves on this come out looking very, very orange because of the variegation. This is the last one that I got which is just so beautiful and then this one was before that one. Oh, this plant just blows me away it's incredible i love how fast it grows it's always working on a leaf like seriously always and look at that cannot wait to see that i can't remember how much i've shown you guys my begonia gray feather i don't remember if it was in a youtube or a patreon video where i was potting this up but it's doing amazing and I'm so, so thankful for that. I was very worried that I was gonna lose this and this was another cutting that was graciously sent to me by Charmaine. So uh, yeah, it's doing well. Look at the backs. They are so beautiful and red. Oh my goodness. And it's been growing so fast now. So yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited about this one. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Also, something else exciting that I almost missed, my Calathea Warshawixia, you guys. She lives on. Look at that beautiful new leaf coming in. Oh, this is one of my favorite plants, you guys, of all time. And mine just was not doing well. So I just, I cannot believe that we are still kicking here. There is hope yet. Oh, I just cannot wait to stroke that once it comes out. Oh, also, while we're here, somebody was asking for an update on my pitcher plant, and I haven't really been showing it recently because it just tends not to do very well in the winter. It's partially from my neglect, I will admit, um, and it tends to lose its pitchers in the winter. But look at this. It was getting some weird deformed ones. Oh, there's bugs in there. That's good. It was getting some weird deformed ones in the fall, so if anybody knows what the cause... Is that a thrip? that's dead I can't tell looks like it could be a bug of some sort this may have had thrips I'm not sure I've treated it but um yeah anyways it was putting out some weird pictures and then the pictures tend to do this in the fall and winter winter which I think is normal because pictures don't last forever I think I've read they have a lifespan of like nine months or something so they kind of go through a life cycle um, so if your pictures are crisping off, like, do not worry because it's normal and more will come in. Like, usually in the spring and summer, I get a lot more pictures. Here's a new leaf that is coming in. This leaf looks kind of unwell. This plant looks like it might be thrippy, if I'm being honest. It's hard to tell. Maybe one of you guys with your eagle eyes will spot something. But, um, yeah, this is a new leaf. I am going to treat this again. That had thrips which are gone now, so I wouldn't be surprised if it passed it over to here. Um, we have a new-ish, maybe trying to put out a picture there as well, 
but the plant is doing well overall. It's just winter is not its season to thrive. Okay, so just a couple of quick things in the Mills Botol. First of all, I wanted to show you guys the unfurled philodendron gigas leaf. Look at that. This is the nicest one we've had in our care, you guys. It is so pretty, not completely perfect. There's a couple of little spots and imperfections, but honestly, I don't even care. It is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so happy about it. And then what else? This has just been growing like crazy, my Hoya Hushkaliana. Oh yeah, my Philodendron Glorious Leaf. Okay, look at this. I know that I showed this recently in my favorites, but I feel like as it hardened off, it just got so massive. Like, look at that, it's massive. I mean, I know it's small in like the general sense of things, but compared to the leaves that I had before on this, tiny, massive. Look at that. Oh man, I love it so much. And look at how red the margins are. That's a gloriosum characteristic. That's where it got that from. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the margins are like a bright pink. It's so pretty. We have a new leaf coming in on my varicosum on that vine. That one is going to push one soon as well. Um, oh my goodness, you can see the root coming right into that air layering that I did. Oh man, that's so cool. I only did that a couple weeks ago. I haven't checked it since. I can see roots coming right out. Oh, that's amazing. That's going to be so easy to propagate. I cannot wait until we do that. Look at how big this leaf got too. Oh, that's stunning. That is so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just obsessed with this plant. I'm obsessed. And also, um, my Hoya Sunrise, all of the new leaves, if you guys remember, it was putting out like a whole bunch of baby leaves. They're all growing in. Look at that. It's like a cluster. Like, that, that area of the vine is so dense with leaves. There's so many. Oh my goodness. I love it. What else? We have my Anthurium seedlings. These are the ones that I grew. This is the one from Charmaine. Oh yeah, it gave me a new leaf right there. So cute. I'm a little suspicious that something got to it, so I need to pot this up and then treat it for pests. But nonetheless, very cute. Same with mine. I need to pot those up soon as well. I wanted to quickly show you guys. Oh, I did show this already actually in my last plant chores video, didn't I? My um, philodendron McDowell is giving me a new leaf. Well, I'll show you again quickly if you've maybe missed that video. This plant is just always trying really hard to make me love it. And I respect that. I do have a tortum new leaf coming in way back there, <laughs> the back of my plant shelf here. Uh, it's still in a self-watering pot. I think that's going to need to be filled soon. These pots are still working amazing for me. Uh, I did have a question recently, somebody asking for an update on them. And I don't really have anything else crazy to say. Like, they still are working great. My plants are super happy. Haven't had anybody rot. The water lasts in the reservoir for a really long time, so it's very low maintenance. And um, yeah, it's great, especially for pond because you don't get the algae because of the cover pot. So I'm definitely still loving those. Okay, you guys, sorry. I know this video is getting kind of long, but I figured that I need to give you an update on my Monstera Thai constellation since I <clears throat> repotted it with you guys a few weeks ago now. Uh, and it's doing amazing. I will show you, uh, well, this is what the leaves look like. They look pretty much the same which is great, no yellowing or wilting or anything like that. And I will show you, I can see fresh roots growing. Oh, I can see one right there, a really tiny one. Um, so there's that root right there, and then there is a root coming in right there. That's new root growth on both of them. So I'm just, I'm so relieved, you guys, uh, that it seems to be happy in here. And I'm just hoping that that continues and I'm eagerly awaiting a new leaf. I think that one will be coming from back here. So yeah, I just, I cannot wait. And of course I will update you the moment that this thing starts putting out a new leaf. That is just going to be quite the spectacle. So yeah, doing really, really well. Oh, I can see roots coming in there. The more I look, the more roots that I can find. So that's definitely a good sign. Very happy in here. And I also, I was getting a lot of questions about um, why I chose plastic to pot it in because a lot of people were saying 
that I should have put it in terracotta and it would have done really well in terracotta. Um, the thing is I just wanted a clear a clear pot so that I could monitor the roots. Like I feel so much better just being able to see that root growth and seeing those like white healthy roots. So that's basically the only reason that I chose to put it in plastic. Okay, a little update on my Crimson Queen's new leaves. Look at those. They are so pretty when they come in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, those are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love this plant so, so, so much. You guys already know, but yeah, look at those. Absolutely stunning. And then she has a couple of more up here. I did recently spray her with the orchid spray as well. I'm going to be picking more of that up this week also because my Hoya seemed to be very, very happy. So yeah, she is looking phenomenal. And then speaking of Hoya, the last update that I'm going to do is on my Hoya Shepardii. Oh my goodness, this this uh, area is a little messy, but I was mentioning in my plant tour video and I inserted a photo of the new leaf uh, or new leaves that are coming in on this guy. So I just wanted to give a little update on that. Look at that. It's so cute. It's so little and skinny. Oh my goodness. Just a little baby. Very, very cute. So there's that one. And then it's also giving me a new leaf right there. I'm hoping that's not going to um crisp off it could though i think i'm gonna water this today just to make sure that it doesn't but yeah i'm just i'm so thrilled oh my goodness there's another one up here oh man this plant is just doing the most oh that is so wild yeah i'm gonna be spraying everybody with that orchid spray you guys like i cannot believe that so cool and an update on the baby she is relaxing Good woman. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed all of my planty updates. Make sure you leave me a comment below. I love to hear from you and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will chat with you guys soon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.